Explain! The next set of, set of effects needs to reach a little higher and fill the lower area of the mi night sky. First we have mines. Right? A mine, uh, we can also, uh, a mine when ignited, it simply propels the content such as stars, glitter, or other small effects in a cone shape. We can move these from one side to the other. And we can fire them in groups at an angles. Hey, how about that? We have comets. A comet is basically a solid chunk of pyrotechnic material that when ignited rises into the night sky with a uniform tail before burning out at a predetermined height. We can also add horizontal movement to these. And just like mines, you could shoot them in groups and in angles. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> lower, the lower level of display can also be filled with multi-shot devices, commonly referred to as cakes. A cake is a device that has from 9 to 900 tubes in a box shape. It's fused together in such a way that when ignited, the device fires each in a quick or slow succession. A cake or multiple cakes can be a good way to fill in a large area with effects. You can also add volume and intensity to a finale with a single ignition. Pretty amazing, folks, huh? The next area in the display we want to paint is the mid-level or main body area of a display. This is primarily done with spherical or canister shells from three to five inches in diameter. And just for reference, most shells will rise 100 feet per each inch in diameter, so a three inch shell will rise roughly 300 feet before bursting. Hey, a four inch shell will rise 400 feet. Whoa. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? So the next thing we want to do is put into play the high-level effects. These are layered over the mid-level effects we just looked at. Let's take a look at a six-inch shell. But before we do that, can anybody shout out how that, how that one will go? 600 feet. A lot. 600 feet, yes. Oh, it worked. So uh, the next shell is actually built by one of our members. Now, it's also a six-inch shell, but it's got four bra breaks of brocade, turbillions, and then colored a heavy report. Oh, hell yeah. Let's take a look at a great member-made shell. You remember in Gandalf and the Lord of the Rings when he brought the fireworks? Yes. That's what we're at here. These are Gandalfs making their stuff. So here's the 16 inch shell. Oh, I'm sorry, that shell was made by Wiley. The next one we're going to take a look at is a 16 inch shell. Can anybody tell me how high that will go? 1600 feet. 1600 feet, if it goes right. And that's made by Mark Merton. Oh. Can't buy that at the local fireworks store, can kind you of folks? Okay, we can also take those shells and fuse them together in groups and fan them out from multiple positions to fill in the field of view horizontally. Hey. Okay, so now that we've seen some of the tools in the pyrotechnician's art box, let's put that all together and paint a little picture in the sky. It looks like we have a nice, fresh sky canvas. So are you ready, Lake Havasu? Let's go! Just salutes and some more calling. <laughs> <laughs>